All right, we want to know what ot m is. So, then, like, I don't know. Sometimes these kind of bother me. Like, what is ot m? Well, it's it's ot it's ot m. That that's it. Like, what more do you want? But it's like, it it's kind of weird. It's like, uh, write it in a way that makes it more that helps us understand what it really is. Um, so basically find an isomorphism between it and something that's a little more um, intuitive or natural or something that we know more about. So as we discussed in the chapter, we have an isomorphism Bism between end Z, well, yeah, end M and M to Z given by, and you see, when I say ot M, like I'm, I'm, a, I'm being, a, I'm sort of cheating because, like, um, I, I kind of forget if we're talking about the automorphism group or the automorphism ring here, but it it doesn't really matter. It, it will turn out. So anyway, uh, between, I, I think these are rings because, let's see, we have addition and multiplication. Yeah, these are rings. Yeah. So the endomorphism ring and M2Z given by, or rather, Yeah, given by the map, which sends the endomorphism eta, which is determined by eta one equals a b and so the endomorphism eta, which is determined by um, what values it takes at one zero and at zero one, which sends the endomorphism eta to um, the matrix A, B, C, D. So Eta is in um, the automorphism ring if and only if the corresponding matrix is invertible because um, isomorphisms and invertible elements they'll be preserved so if this and so hence what does it mean for an element to be Invertible ot z squared is isomorphic to the general linear. Oh, hmm. I'm so used to saying the general linear group, but here it's a general linear ring. Um, and this is just the ring of. Yeah, it, it's just a typical. It's it's the ring of. Uh, matrices, uh, two two by two matrices of determinant not determinant non-zero, and it's it's pretty obvious that it should be a ring, even though we typically refer to it as a group, um, because multiplication. Well, we know that um, uh, um, multiplication uh, de determinants like the determinant. Here, I'll just write it down instead of trying to say it. Determinant of product a b equals determinant a times determinant b and so um basically the only thing that's not obvious here or not that's not completely obvious is closure under multiplication of uh the general linear ring um so if you multiply two matrices of determinant non-zero will the resulting matrix have determinant non-zero uh, but this formula tells us that 
um, because we know that the determinant is an integer and the integer is a domain. So if you have two elements of GL2Z, then I call them A and B, then uh, their determinants are non-zero. So you multiply these determinants together, you get a non-zero value, but that's also going to be the, de the determinant of the product of the matrices. So there you go. Um, the automorphism ring is isomorphic to the general linear ring, and this completes our proof.